What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. For anybody new, I am Matt Luna and this is my dual mold CNC mold versus the cast aluminum essential series molds. There is a difference, your baits will turn out different and we're gonna get into that in today's video. For anyone unfamiliar with my channel, I put out tackle making videos, I put out bass fishing tip videos, and also tournament videos and on the water fishing videos. So if that sounds like something you would like to watch, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And now let's get into CNC versus cast aluminum. Them. So we're going to start off first with price. There is a difference between the CNC mold price and the cast aluminum pricing. The CNC mold is going to be more expensive and the cast aluminum is going to be cheaper. So the difference in pricing comes from the manufacturing process, obviously. It's gonna be more expensive to manufacture this than it is to manufacture this Essential Series mold. So therefore, one's gonna be more expensive than the other. The Essential Series molds are a price point mold. They are gonna make you quality baits and just as good as a CNC mold bait would, but they're gonna look just slightly different. I think that's the main thing that you're gonna to have to take into consideration when making the decision on what mold you're gonna buy. When you pour baits using a CNC mold, you're gonna get very clean, crisp looking baits. When you pour baits using the Essential Series mold, they're gonna be a little bit less clear, a little bit less crisp, and just a little bit more on the dull side. Your laminates might blend just a little bit more, but you're still getting quality baits. So I don't wanna make it sound like you're getting garbage baits from the Essential Series mold. You're really not, but there is a difference, and when I'm explaining to it, using the different words that I can think of, there is a difference and I wanna make sure that that comes out and is apparent, but you're still getting very good quality baits with the Essential Series mold. One of the best ways to describe the difference between the cast aluminum molds and those CNC molds is that the CNC mold has a very polished, machined out look where the cast aluminum essential series molds have more of a texture within the mold itself. You're gonna be able to see it right away when you open up and compare the two different molds. I have a recent video where I'm making swim baits using the Duant Molds Essential Series Diner Shiner Mold. You can make eight swim baits at one time. I have chartreuse tails in there with a pearl laminate, blue pearl laminate on top and a white pearl laminate on the bottom. And those baits turned out really, really cool. I really think that they, I was really impressed with how well they turned out, how you could see the different colors in there and how everything kind of came together, even in that Essential Series mold. There's a lot going on in that pour, but they turned out really, really well. So the process of making the baits using these molds is exactly the same. Basically, you're gonna be drawing up that plastisol into your injector and then injecting it into the CNC mold or the Essential Series mold. Either way, the process is the same. However, I have noticed a couple things that I wanna pass along to you guys that I have found help me out a lot when it comes to the Essential Series line of molds. One thing I think will help you guys out when it comes to pouring in your Essential Series molds is pour at higher temperatures than you would with your CNC molds. I feel like I can get away with pouring at a lower temperature in those CNC molds and still get a good product, but I found that if I pour at cooler temperatures in that cast aluminum mold, I end up getting some dimpling, maybe the baits don't fill out all the way, and when I pour at a higher temperature, a little bit hotter, I get a perfect pour and I get consistent pours. So just try that if you've been having any kind of trouble pour at a little bit higher temperature than you would with that CNC mold, and I have a feeling you're gonna start getting a lot better product out of that mold. Another thing that I found with the Essential Series molds is that if you do a little bit lighter levels of colorant, your baits look a little bit better as well because they are gonna be a little bit, they're gonna have a little bit darker of a look. It's not gonna, like I said, it's not gonna be as crisp, it's not gonna be as translucent. So you're gonna be able to use a little bit less color and you're gonna get that color to come through a little bit more. It's not gonna be as vibrant as that CNC one is, but I've noticed that my baits turn out a lot better when I use a little bit less colorant than I would in my CNC mold. Duo Molds has some really good CNC molds and they also have some really good Essential Series molds. One of my favorites is the Slick Shiner mold. I've poured a lot of baits using that mold. But I think the main thing that you need to think about is what your end product, what the end product you want out of your baits because there is going to be a difference and I think that's the main thing that you need to consider when making the decision on whether you wanna buy the CNC mold or buy the Cast Aluminum Essential Series mold. I still think you can get really good baits out of both molds but I think for some people it boils down to price point. So I think Duo Molds wanted to have something in that entry level price point. The Essential Series lineup 
of molds is not just something that's entry level. I think it's a great place for somebody new to the soft plastic bait making hobby as a great place to start. But I think even people that have been making baits for a long time, you can find a lot of benefit from those molds. At the end of the day, you're gonna be able to make great baits with both the CNC mold and the Essential Series mold. If you've been making baits for a long time and you see a mold from Do It Molds that's the Essential Series and you're a little hesitant because it's that cast aluminum, Go for it, you're gonna be able to make great baits. If, you're use, if you use some of the tips that I outlined in this video, you're gonna be able to make great looking baits. Trust me on it, you're not gonna be disappointed in the molds they're gonna produce for you. And if you're new and you don't know what the difference is, I really hope this video helped you out. It's gonna help you make a decision. It's gonna help you get into making your own soft plastics. So now you know the difference between the cast aluminum molds and the CNC molds. These are both great options for you and I hope it's gonna help you make your decision or help you get into the tackle making hobby. If you wanna watch more tackle making videos, make sure to hit that playlist that's on the screen right now. And then also before you go, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.